In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to set up my FT817 so I could produce a good PSK31 signal. In this video, I'm going to show how I set up my laptop running Windows 7, I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium. So we'll start Ham Radio Deluxe. This is the USB serial converter cable that is the CAT cable to the FT817. I loaded the drivers for that earlier. I set up this using new. You can set up a preset for 817 COM3 38400 with DTR and RTS set. But the FT817 is not on right now. So when you try to run it, it'll fail. Hmm, fail to read frequency. That's because the 817 is not set up yet. We'll do that later. What we want to do is set up DM780. We're still not connected. We know that. But we check right here, the input is a microphone, the Realtek High Definition Audio. That's the speaker sounds. We'll go over that. So what we need to do is make sure we're tied to the signal link USB. So we'll go to Program Options. And let's see, we'll go to Sound Card and select the USB audio codex. That's the signal link. Same here. And we also want to go to Waterfall and make sure that this right here is clicked. Show Radio Frequency Toolbar. Under Frequency Mode and Speed, we want to make sure at the bottom here it says Show RF Frequency. Make sure that's clicked. And we want to make sure we go to Push to Talk. We want to select None. We're going to use the Sound Card. At the bottom here it says if you've got a signal link USB, select none and the signal link will control the push to talk. So that's what we've done there. And make sure your call sign stuff is all put in, but we don't need that just yet. So it looks like that's good. But it doesn't change here. What you have to do is stop it. And when you restart it, then it comes up and recognizes the changes you made earlier. Right here it says codex, codex, that's good. So now we need to start the FT817 and make sure it is set up right. So we'll get out of these. One more thing we need to do is to check the sound devices on the laptop. So we'll go to Control Panel, select Sound, and Speakers, System Sounds are going to be played over this. So we don't want the System Sounds to be going over to the signal link. So we want to get rid of this guy. We want to select speakers. The headsets is where the sound will be going because we have headsets on. We're going to set default. So system sounds will go to the speakers through the headset. Microphone. We don't want the microphone coming over the signal link. So let's set the headset microphone. So that should work. Okay, say OK. And we'll get out of here. 
Okay, first we're going to be setting up the FT817 so we can talk to our laptop. So the first thing we're going to do is turn it on. And we want to go into the menu mode by pressing F and holding it. And start off, we want to make sure the extended menus are on. This is select knob at menu 52. It says off. We turn the tuning dial until it says on. Then we're going to go to number 7. It says the antenna. And we want to make sure that it's on the rear is where we're connecting the antenna for the HF. Then we're going to go to 14 is the cat rate. It's up for 4800. We want to make sure that it's 3840. That's what I have the laptop set up for in the, the DM780. Then we're going to check a few things. One of them will be number 26. Digital mode. We want to set it so it's user upper. And let's go to 45. Squelch and RF gain, that's this knob here, the big one. We want to make sure that it's set for RF gain, not squelch. So it is. Squelch. Set it for RF gain. Then we're going to go over to the box gain. I just set it to 1, which is kind of turning it off. And that's about it here. Then we press F and hold it. And we're back. Let's see if we um, press F and just momentarily hold it down like that. Then it comes up. There's several functions here we can check. We want to make sure that when we're power and meter are that it says ALC that's what we're going to be watching and you press right here SWR mod power ALC so FT817 should be ready to go Let's start up Ham Radio Deluxe. We've got the FT817 configured and it's powered on. On 3, FT817, connect. Frequency readout, on the rear, 2.5 watts. It comes up 2.5 watts if there's a battery, internal battery in the FT817. So let's start the DM780. There we are, we got the frequency readout here, down at the bottom. Here. Push talk is none, which means signal link should control it. Microphone is codex, outputs codex. Shows here. Looks pretty good. Now if we just turn the antenna on.
signal level. This is what the signal link about 9 o'clock on receive. Got a few signals here coming in. Sound card information right there. Transmits up to 100. Looks like we're ready to do some testing. Now we're going to adjust the output of the FT817 so we have no ALC bar showing and to get a good signal. So what we're going to do is transmit a blank page, no text, and we adjust the TX on the signal link. see the power here coming up until we have no bars we adjust it a little more so now we have about four ALC lines there showing you can see the output. This is on a separate receiver about five feet away. You can see that the signal has got some strong signals on the side there. What we want to do is get rid of those. Let's drop them down. Drop it where there's No ELC, and then maybe a little bit more, just a smidgen. Then you can see that the output here is really good. Checking this is using DigiPan. It shows an IMD of minus 31, minus 33. So that's a real clean signal here. So if we send some text. We've got no ALC showing. We've got a nice clean signal here. And that's about it. Okay, we'll send some text. No ALC line showing. It's a little bit less than a watt. It's setting at two and a half watts. So the meter shows about a little less than a watt. Nice clean signal here. I hope this video was useful in helping you set up the FT817 for use with PSK31. So 73, and this is N7JFP.